All right. So I have my DualShock 4 controller plugged directly into the PlayStation 4, which will indeed have it paired directly to the console. So as you can see here. So now if I unplug the controller, it should be wirelessly controlling everything. All right, so now to unpair your controller, what you would need to do is go over to the settings menu. Go here. And then, let's see, go to devices. Go to Bluetooth devices. And as you can see, that right there is this controller. Even though the, uh, the USB is unplugged. I just didn't want to have to um, unplug it from the controller also. So, uh, this being said, what we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to click it and we're going to tell it to disconnect. It's disconnected, everything's good. So now what we need to do is take our Cronus Max when it's in the PS4 output protocol. We're going to connect our controller to the Cronus Max. Let's get this plugged in here. Plug the Cronus Max into the PlayStation 4. Yeah. Switch that over to zero, because I was testing some stuff prior to recording this for you. And, alright, where it says, as you can see, it's still showing the Bluetooth devices, but our um, controller is not illuminating on here. So what we'll do is we will go into it. Press the options button on your controller once you're here, and then you'll go to forget device, tell it OK. Go ahead and do the same thing with this controller, because I have two controllers. So we'll select the controller, select, press options, select forget device, and now the PlayStation has no idea what this controller is. Hope this video has helped you.